Okay, this is a uh, replica of the um, carronade cannon found at uh, Hug Point, Arch Point, over there near Cannon Beach. This picture was drawn in 1800 of a carronade that went on the USS Shark. So the ship broke up and the center section of the deck with three carronades floated 30 miles south. They managed to get one, one gun off and then the other two were lost until uh, February this year. So it's a small weapon, it was very powerful, and they called these things the smasher because they would cave in the side of a ship there. And the Halem State Park asked us to build one. So we have built a full-size model of one that fires. Wouldn't stand there. <laughs> Might go off. Yeah. <laughs> Never trust these things. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> I'm just looking for a good shot. Okay. This here is a um, can fuse. Now, did they have Zippo lighters back during the? Uh... Yes, they did. Oh. This is. Now, don't laugh. This is flint and there's steel in there. That's what they use a lot of. Yeah, this is about 1847. Fire in the hole! <laughs> <laughs> ah, that good smell. <laughs> Christ, that was loud. <laughs> and when I started building it, I decided to go ahead and double everything. So every part I had, I doubled it so I can build another one. It took a month to get all the parts cut out. This is part of the, 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 the uh, ring, the, the, the pivot ring. This here is an elevation screw for the uh, mounting for that. This is that big old heavy um, back end of that thing. Huh. Pipe ring. There's this heavy plate that that, can, that mounts on. There's a three inch steel pin in the middle so when she recoils it slides up and down and that pin keeps from blowing out. This is the bottom carrier there. And then underneath this plate is this plate here. These are the cone sections that are welded and put together. There's big one inch eye bolts and stuff. I cut them off and use them. <laughs> Doug goes out of a dumpster, but uh, we've got a bunch of those around. Here is a um, this big rusty piece of metal is the uh, the bore that goes on the inside of that. So, looks like you made use of materials you had on hand. Then. Yeah, mm -hmm. huh. I, that's why I build cannons. So whatever I got on hand, that's what I do. I like making cannons. <laughs> so. She's firing good. <laughs> we put the gun itself on what they call a garrison carriage, and it has a bigger front wheel on it, and uh, it has a handle coming out of the back end of what they call a monkey tail, and you can kind of steer back and forth. Want to fire it again? We've been using those. Mm -hmm. Eight ounces in there. Oh, I tell you, that's why I recoil. Cannon crew, let's fire again. Get back. Fire. <laughs> the, everybody here is really impressed with it, you know? so, and this is a full-size one. Uh, there were 12 of these on the USS Shark when she went down, so um, this is exactly what one of them would have looked like. 